Hey everybody, this is Robert here, back with another video. Happy New Year! It's 2018, and we'll start start over for the new year. Now, I've been a little tiny bit under the weather this week, but it was mostly my nose going crazy, and nosebleeds last week. I had three of them last week, and one this week, so... Yeah, just be praying for my for my recovery. I can't afford to get sick. But on with the video. So I will I present my top five features I wish was on this iPod sixth generation. And I, maybe they'll put it in the next generation iPod Touch. So here are the top five features I wish was on the iPod Touch 6th generation. Alright, number five. Well, this one's a tie. Either the screen size could be a little bigger. Not that important though, to me. But um, Or Siri really should activate like via voice if the battery is greater than 20% otherwise it'll just go on as normal right now Siri does not do that you have you have to if you're going to use voice you have to have it on, connected to a power source which I mean it's a battery saving technique by Apple but you know, the iPhone does not do that. So I really would like for Siri to uh, activate when when I say, hey Siri, if the battery is greater than 20%. Right now I have to do this. Of course, it's saying Siri not available because I don't have internet. It'll be nice to first for Siri to be stored locally for you know for offline use as well. That that'll be helpful too. Number four, the screencast function in Control Center. Let me show you this thing on the bottom here. It only does video. It does not do audio, which I wish it would do both audio and video. I don't know why it only does audio. I mean, it only does vid it does video and not audio. There may be a setting that I have to tweak. It would be nice if they had a screencast function that that um, does video, both video and audio, so that there wasn't any way to. Uh, that we would have that I would have to do a voiceover. Number three or three. A dedicated button for the LED flash. The physical toggle button. As you can see here, here's the LED flash. But I can't really push a button, really to use it all I can do is do it like this like push the home button swipe up to, to go to control center and then tap that the flashlight icon to get the flashlight working I would like for Apple to put a dedicated button for LED flash it's a physical a physical toggle button on the side somewhere probably on the right side or, or on the top um, for both iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch, that's because it's on on in none of them. So, and to activate the LED flash without having to go through uh, you know, pu pushing the home button and going to Control Center, you know, like it's, it's similar to an to a an actual flashlight. For example, this, 
where all I have to do is just press this button and the flashlight is on. That's kind of the functionality I would like to have on the iPod Touch. And the iPhone and the iPad. Number two! The, the camera. The camera on the iPod Touch 6th generation is an 8 megapixel rear camera with HDR in the software and on the front camera is a 5 megapixel. Uh, it would be great to have camera quality of both the iPhone and the iPod Touch to be close to the same. You know, the iPhone already, the iPhone 10, I believe, has 12 megapixel or 16 megapixel rear camera, and it would be nice to have the iPod Touch to be about um, a 12 megapixel rear camera and about an 8 megapixel front camera. Right now, the iPod Touch can only do 1080p at 60 frames per second, which for the time that we have now, it's pretty good. So that this is my best camera. This is so this is what I use, other than my Logitech webcam. That's 720p. All right. Lastly, and this is the one that I really, really, really want the most. That on the iPod Touch is a dedicated GPS receiver just like the TomTom Tom and Garmin and also the uh, 3G connected um, iPad and the iPhone of course right now there is no GPS receiver you know and you, I'm sure you could get one from Amazon for like 20 bucks but it would be nice to have a GPS, uh, just a regular GPS receiver that's, you know, similar to the TomTom -Tom or Garmin GPS receivers. And that's really it. I like the fact that this thing has Bluetooth and I can actually stream it with a device in my car and also, it's handy to ask Siri to set a timer whenever I have internet. There's Siri. So, yeah. Did you accidentally send Yeah. And it's got some cool tips on about, about a series so other than that that's all I have and uh, for this video and I'll see you next next time we meet again goodbye